Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys come back to my channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a guide on how to do Grandmaster and actually complete it. Now, you might not like our setups, but this is a setup that actually worked for us. So this is a guide on how you could do it and you could use the same setup and it might work for you. But uh, what we did is we had one person run Anarchy and another person run Lament and then they had a Scout and a Pulse. It doesn't really matter what scout and pulse you really use. One person could use an arc one. One person could be using uh, solar scout. It doesn't really matter. It just kind of matters on the heavy weapons and what exotics that you use. So what I'm going to use is actually outbreak, and I have the catalyst for it. You might not necessarily need the catalyst. It does, just does more damage if you have the catalyst. So I suggest if someone does have the catalyst in your group, they use it because when you're on the final boss, the barriers will become an issue and Outbreak will melt their shield. Literally melt their shield in like seconds and that's what you need because the barriers, they like to stay together and it's very hard to actually, you know, kill them with just a regular pulse because the Outbreak Perfected has those nanites and it just destroys it. And you'll see it later on in the video of me using Outbreak Perfected and just the damage output that it actually puts on the barriers. And that one I highly suggest using. Now the person with Lament, he was actually running a heavy finisher so that when he finished champions that heavy would drop which actually helped us get more heavy. Now. The person with Lament could have used like Anarchy and he could have used something else or maybe he could have used Outbreak with me. So I mean that's flexible as well like you could use different things there. And uh, for our supers what we did is I ran well. Uh, it kind of helps sometimes like when you're trying to do the boss and you're trying to save yourself well can help but it's not going to like stop all the damage and they're still very powerful and they'll destroy you in the well. So I ran well, uh, then the other guy ran stasis and I suggest that you have at least one person run stasis because it will freeze the overloads and they'll stop from moving. And when you're running this, you want to make sure that on your class item that you have overload thermal grenades and surge eater because uh, what it does is every time you disrupt a champion your grenade instantly comes back and the overload obviously the thermal overload disrupts uh, champions so I suggest that you have that on your class item and that's what I have on my class item I'm running solar and I'm running the, sol uh, the sun bracers so my solar grenade lasts longer so it does a lot of damage to the overload but you also could just uh, hammer them with your scout rifle over and over again. But I just like throwing the grenades over and over again. And you can disrupt champions and throw grenades at the boss to do damage to the boss. And you can just keep on doing that over and over again. But you definitely need someone with stasis. And a warlock with stasis is uh, probably pretty good. And then the hunter, he ran uh, void. And the reason why he ran Void is because he can go invisible just in case stuff gets hairy if we need a revive or something like that. Void is very good. The Tether, it kind of helped, but didn't really help. It's kind of more of, you know, him being able to go invisible and helping us with that. And another thing is uh, at the boss room, you want to make sure that you do not damage the Hydra down all the way. So in the boss room, there is a Hydra, and the Hydra comes and he tries to attack you, but he doesn't, he's not really that powerful, he only has like, like arc shooting at you, so he's not really that big of a deal. So I suggest that you do not damage him, because if you damage him and put him like away, like he goes away, then what will happen is two more champions will spawn and you'll be screwed because they'll be coming at every angle and we've made that mistake many times before we actually figured out that we should not damage that Hydra down and we should keep him actually there. So what you want to do is you want to take care of the two Minotaurs first before you damage that Hydra. Just keep the Hydra around and he shouldn't bother you that much. He could kill you. Just be 
be aware of him, but don't, you know, actually do damage to him until you've taken out those champions. And you want to do that each and every time for every damage phase. So, like, if you damage him, you'll get four Minotaurs instead of just two Overload Minotaurs. So you just want to deal with two instead of four, because four is just way too much to handle with. Uh, you might be able to do it, but it's just a lot less riskier to go ahead and have two. So then after that, you also want to do that with, uh, like, next stages too. So you damage him, and then you'll, set, you'll kill the two Minotaurs, and then you have to damage the boss. And then after that, the Hydra will come back, and then the big bird people, the wide, the, the, I never can pronounce their names correct, but you know what the big bird people are if you play this game. Like, it just, I, the Wyland, Wyland, the, I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> I butchered the name. But anyways, uh, they'll come after you, and they do void damage, and they do a lot of damage as well. So you want to make sure that you know you're focused on them and kill them as fast as possible. And you don't want four of them. And if you damage the Hydra, you'll send four of those things after you, and you don't want to do that. So I should just just kill two of them, and then damage the Hydra, and then uh, go from there. But before you kill, like, you kill the two big bird guys, but there is two barriers as well, so I suggest that you kill the two barriers before you damage the Hydra, and then once you kill two barriers and the two big bird people, then you kill the Hydra, so he goes back in the retreat, and then two big bird guys will spawn, and then another... Uh, two barriers will spawn and that's where the outbreak actually comes in handy and you'll see it in later in the video and I suggest that you just go on left side uh, this is where we go is on left side of the arena and just hang out over there and make sure that you make call outs saying that you know the minotaurs come from here minotaurs come from here and make sure that you're using your stasis grenades and your solar grenades and the solar grenades are really safe because I can just keep on chucking them over and over again and it's just constantly doing damage to the overload so I like using that because I can just keep on chucking them, chucking them while he's in stasis and he can't move and he keeps getting, you know, broken, keeps getting disrupted and you'll see it in the video and yeah that's like it's just communication and just stuff like that and that's pretty much it, that's the mods that we use. And I also use a chest piece that was void to decrease the incoming void damage. I really don't know if it really helped that much. Maybe it helped a little bit, but it didn't really seem like it was like a game changer. So I guess you really don't need those mods on your chest piece to decrease the incoming void damage. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let the footage play out so that you actually can see us doing it. Another thing is you want to like get there pretty fast, so in the areas that you're fighting through, you want to get there really fast because you want to have time on there so that you can have revives, because as after 30 minutes you'll have no more revives. So I suggest like trying to get it down to at least like 19 minutes when you're in the bo get into the boss room, because that's about where we were at. You don't have to get it down to that time, it's just, like, better if you have more time because then you'll have more time to make mistakes and revives. And you'll see in this attempt, I actually die because I didn't realize I was taking that much damage and I just died. So, it's very easy to die and it's very easy to make a mistake and once you're dead, you're dead and you can't really help your teammates and... It just really sucks. So try not dying. And especially if you're a person with outbreak, if you die in the early rounds and they need your outbreak, it's gonna suck for them because it's very difficult to take out those barriers without outbreak. I'm telling you right now, it's very, very, very difficult to take them out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, you know, watching me go through this and I'll see you guys in the next video. And like and subscribe.
Elizabeth, you must know why Clovis built the portals. Greed. Obsession. The list is long. If you asked him, he would have told you he was saving humanity. Collecting the radiolarian fluid from the Vex that came through was the prime purpose. I wanted it shut down. Clovis wouldn't have it. Once again, he flew too close to the sun, and once again, the rest of us paid for it. Bastard.
one escape.
That's the last of them, Elizabeth. Good riddance, evil bastards. Until next time. <laughs>